Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our next 10 days readings. This will be for Capricorn. Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with the Capricorn, but always remember the readings are general. So take what resonates as it resonates with your situation. Don't force anything to fit. If you have any significant Pisces placements, I have a second channel that's significantly exclusive to Pisces. Significantly exclusive. I don't know guys, I don't know what I'm saying when I'm starting to channel. It's a Pisces channel, um, Pisces Tarot and Advice. I'll try to link it below if you're interested in that. Go check that out as well. Um, but yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe. And thank you in advance. All right, let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the next 7 to 10 days from whenever you're watching this video for Capricorn. All right, here we go. The Empress, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Four of Swords, The Fool, Six of Wands, Temperance, Ace of Swords, King of Wands, and The Devil, Why? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Capricorn, be mindful. If something seems too good to be true, it is. Okay? It's not real. Be careful. Because Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Taurus with Capricorn energy, could be your energy. With the Empress, for some of you, I'm just getting, I'm getting pregnancy energy. Okay, for some of you, you're expecting. You might not know it, but there you go. Um, side message, obviously, it's not going to be for everyone. But for most of you, male or female, you are seen um, in a very favorable light. Okay, whether it's in your personal life or professional life, all around. People see you, you know, you have your stuff together, you got good money, you got good health, you're beautiful. Um, you have a lot to offer, you have a lot to give. They see your giving nature. Six of Pentacles, which might actually be the challenge that you need to be mindful of, your giving nature. Because I feel like there's someone... You're achieving a milestone. You took a chance with something recently with the Fool card. You went for something and you got it or you're getting it. And it's going to bring you a lot of abundance, money in particular. This could be after a long time of you waiting, searching... But you've been on your own trying to figure out what you want to do. Okay. And so now that you figured it out, you went for it, you got it. As you're focused with the Knight of Wands here on moving forward, making change for yourself. Maybe you're changing your job now. Maybe you're changing where you live because now you can afford to. Maybe you're changing your car. Maybe you're doing, you're redoing house, property. I don't know. Um, now... It's like you're getting attention all of a sudden. Everyone sees you all of a sudden. Because of this accomplishment, because of this milestone you're reaching, because of this... You know what I mean? Six of Wands in the near future. This is being celebrated, but again, people have their uh, eye on you. And I also get the sense of people expect things from you, or they're asking you for money, or they're asking you for advice, or they're asking you for support in, in how... like however because you're in the spotlight, because everyone knows you're doing well, because everyone knows you can afford to. And for the most part with the temperance card, I see that you're trying to help people in as much as you can. But uh, be careful, because I feel like you might have ended up in the Four of Swords situation, feeling stuck, depleted. You might have started getting sick a lot. You might have had to take some time off things. Um, your health might have been, you know, not the greatest physically, mentally, emotionally. I feel like you got to this place because of overgiving, because of sacrificing yourself constantly. And now that you got yourself back on track, here comes the cycle again, right? It's, start, it's starting again. So I want you to be very careful, Capricorn, and maintain a balance. See things in perspective and maintain a balance. Okay, 
It's okay to help people. It's okay to want to be there for people. But start by asking yourself, am I helping, am I helping or enabling? Because that will clear some people off the board real, real quick. Um, for others of you, you know, ask yourself, is this a, a pattern? Does this person always come to me? Could I teach them to help themselves as opposed to helping them directly and doing it for them? Could I teach them how to do it for themselves? And if not, is that really my problem? Is that really my responsibility? It's time to ask some difficult questions. Okay. In your environment, you have the Ace of Swords. And with the Ace of Swords, I do see you making some decisions, making some cuts. Okay, cutting out stresses and, and whatever um, sources of um, just draining your energy. Like black holes in your life, you're cutting them out. And you're having these conversations, okay? In your hopes and fears here, we have the King of Wands. You want to switch focus now, or that could be your advice, to yourself, your goals your progression where do you want to go what are your long-term goals if you didn't have to help everyone around you what would you be doing with that time and money and energy and resources for yourself where would you put it what are the goals you want to achieve i also see a fear of being alone so if you're helping everyone because you're afraid you know that if you say no they're going to leave um i get it but are they really your friends? Are they really the people you want to, you can count on? If that's the case, this is a good time to test it. This is a good time to test people. Who's going to be your friend? You know, who's going to respect the fact that you're saying, you know what, I need some time for myself. I can help you tomorrow. I can't do it today. Who's going to be, you know, throwing a fit and making you feel bad and making you feel guilty for not fixing their problem when you're depleted? And who's going to say, I completely understand that, Capricorn, no problem. Let me try to figure it out myself. And if not, maybe if you have time tomorrow, if you have resources, if you have capacity, maybe, yeah, can you help me look at it together? Take care of yourself, though. That's a good time to test it. And in the outcome, we do have the devil um, energy here. That's could be This could be you where you're choosing yourself, this Capricorn energy. And you're cutting away anything draining, stressful, toxic, bad patterns of behavior, um any sort of uh, unhealthy attachments that you have to things in other people or other people have to you that they shouldn't, okay? And for others of you, I'm definitely seeing a person or a group of people trying to talk you into giving them money, trying to talk to you, to you into, or making, it starts off with, like good cop bad cop right it starts off as you know them saying nice things to you and blowing smoke up your behind so that you'd help them and if you don't they start putting doubts inside your head or they start pressuring you in some way so just be careful because the bottom line is it's not about other people we don't care about other people this is your reading capricorn and you should apply that approach to you to your life at least for the time being this is about you the bottom line is you're overcoming some sort of bad health, whether that's physical, mental, emotional, financial, spiritual. You're overcoming some sort of bad health, some sort of dry spell because you worked on yourself, you healed, you gave yourself time to recover, and then you took a chance on something. You gave it your best shot, and you got it. And you're being recognized. And it will translate into more money for a lot of you. Better position, better status. Definitely more money. A lot of people having their eye on you, a lot of people wanting to get to know you all of a sudden, a lot of people wanting to know how did you get here, what did you do, what's your story? Because now they see you. They didn't see you before, now they see you. And so in the near future with the Six of Wands, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. I'm definitely seeing pregnancy for some of you, so I'm just going to put that out there. But in the near future, this is... With the Six of Wands, a lot of people, I also get a sense of family members coming to you for you to help them, especially financially, or for you to invest in their business idea, or for you to invest in what they're trying to do, financially especially. I do see that. I 
yeah, I just see a lot of people coming at you to tell you how great they are, but also to ask for your support. Even if it's to share your wisdom, that's not that bad because if someone's trying to kind of make it for themselves, but they're just needing some advice and some inspiration, that's fine. But it's when they start asking you like to do stuff for them so they, so they don't have to. You just give them the money so they don't work for it. You just give them the answer so they don't have to struggle for themselves. That's what you need to be careful with, okay? What's the Ace of Swords in the environment? So we have the High Priestess, the Two of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, definitely you're saying no to some people. And it's going to, uh, they're going to have a problem with it. But it's their problem. You're narrowing down the number of people in your life that you consider important. Okay? You're narrowing down your priorities. Shortening that list. Whatever this is, you've had a massive wake-up call, Capricorn. Of what's right and what isn't. And what's fair and what isn't. And what's healthy and what isn't. And you're applying what you've learned. You're starting to say no to people. You're starting to match their effort. So if someone is just giving you praise, they're not actually investing anything with you. You're just going to accept the praise and give them a compliment back. You're not going to throw money at them as a result. You know, you're not going to feel obligated to them just because they say they like you or you know what I mean? And the devil and the outcome. You have the moon, the page of pentacles, the six of cups. Yeah, under the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. This is what you've overcome on your own. The Nine of Pentacles on your own. So when the times are tough, Capricorn, you're on your own. When times are tough, you know, people don't come to you asking you, these people that I'm talking about, okay? They don't come to you asking if you need help. They don't come to you asking how you're doing. They don't come to you asking if you need to vent about anything. If you need anything, if they can do anything for you. No, there's no one in sight. When it comes to this particular person or this particular group of people. Okay? But when you're on top, all of a sudden, they're your best friend. All of a sudden, you can't get rid of them. All of a sudden, they're in your corner. You know, and it's like, it's fair weather friends. So-called. And I feel like whatever happened that you've had to overcome through the, those painful times, through those times of feeling alone and feeling like you have to struggle on your own and figure it out on your own, you... You might have gone to therapy for some of you. You might have turned to your faith. You might have turned to spirituality, focused on that for a bit, and it opened your eyes. And it's it's a whole new way of being with the full card. You freed yourself from a lot of burdens where you felt responsible for other people. You understood that, you know what? Everyone's responsible for themselves. If you're grown and able adults, you're responsible for yourself. They always made you feel guilty. If you said no to them, they always, you know. So now that you're doing awesome, here they come again. So that's what it's about for you, Capricorn. Now that you're doing awesome, here they come again. For some of you, this is family, unfortunately. For others of you, this is people who've been in your life a long time. You considered them a family. But when you took a step back from everything and you were on your own, no one went, Capricorn, you haven't said anything in a while. Are you okay? Not these people that I'm talking about, okay? And you sacrificed, you sacrificed, you sacrificed till you got yourself in a hole or you got yourself sick. And that's the big eye opener for you. Now, you are focused on ma making healthier choices, more balanced choices. I can help you up to here. You have to take it from there. I can do, I can't do what you're asking, I can only do this much. Take it or leave it. Okay? Or, just saying I'm not doing that that's just going to enable you you need to figure it out for yourself sorry I'll, I've helped you a million times before so you are cutting away they're going to they're not going to be happy about it four cups they're going to play victim they're going to pout that's, that's just really not your problem and you you know exactly what you're doing with these swords and the high priestess you know this is the right thing to do for yourself as well as other people because sometimes tough love is the best kind of love that people need at, at different times in their lives. You know, no one wants it, but sometimes that's what you need. And you're switching focus and you're focusing on yourself for a while. You might be starting your own business. You might be starting a, um, 
new goals, new projects when it comes to your career, your business ideas, uh, your health and well-being, something that inspires you, going out there, living life, traveling more. And then with the devil and the outcome, I feel like for some of you, if this is your energy, you are going back to, for some of you are going back to school to study something you've always wanted to study or you picked it up and you had to drop it. You're going back to an old dream of yours with the moon and the six of cups. And now you have the money and the time and the resources to invest because you've, you've cut out a bunch of black holes in your life. And now you have the money and the energy and the resources to invest in your dream and your wish that you could never, you know, it's something you kept putting on the back burner because I, I just don't have the time because you were doing everything for everyone else and you didn't have the time for yourself, okay? So for some of you, that's what I'm seeing here. Picking back up a, a passion, a dream you, you had, but you just never had the time, the resources for it because again, you were they were being dissipated. Um, for others of you, if this is someone trying to sweet talk you, just be mindful, okay? They're, they're lying. Uh, it could be a sibling, it could be a friend. And they just want money. Or they want you to help them. They want you to give them a place to live. They want you to give them a leg up. For some of you, if you're starting your own business, there's someone coming at you asking you to give them a job because now you, you're a business owner so you can give them a job. It's a very entitled person, very mature. I don't care how old they are. Um, so be mindful of what you do with this person. Okay? Give me one more on this. Okay, okay. If that's the situation. So we have the King of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I was going to say, talk about boundaries and the Ace of Wands. You can give them an opportunity. You can give them what they're asking for, but have rules, have boundaries have a contract and if you talk to them about those things they're gonna bolt <laughs> they'll be like you know what never mind I never mind never mind I have to commit to this I have to commit to pay back in this amount of time and in this way uh, never mind okay so Capricorn that is what I have for you it's spring cleaning time it's time to take back your energy your resources from the black holes in your life and start investing in yourself and pushing forward your dream making progress and living your life okay because you deserve it you deserve it you've done plenty for other people you that can be done okay you've done that all right so i'm going to leave it there capricorn watch your other placements take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next video bye for now